For this tutorial I'm going to use the Essential Cotton VK from uh, Rico and I actually got these from the Homemakery which I'll leave a link in the description box below but they came in this gorgeous colour pack of the most divine colours um, so this is what I'm going to be using today and on the label it actually says to use between a 3 and 4 millimetre hook so I'm actually going to plump in the middle and use a three and a half millimeter hook. I would recommend that you do use some kind of cotton DK for this project just because you want something that's a lot thinner to actually fit around the actual egg itself. The only thing I found with cotton is because it's quite stringy it can be a little bit more difficult to work with so you do have to be just that extra bit careful when you're working on this project with a cotton yarn. So first of all you want to take your yarn and make a slip knot and you can do this however way or whichever way you feel best and you want to start off by chaining two so one and two do this fairly loosely so that you can work into the second chain from the hook and we're going to do six double crochet in this very first hook here to make a circle so in the UK this is double crochet in the US this is called single single crochet so you want to insert your hook into that first chain you want to yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook and as you're doing these first six double crochets make sure that you turn the work as you're doing it so we'll do the next one so insert your hook into that first chain same chain as before yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through and this is what I mean by this is a little bit more difficult to work with if you find that you've just missed a loop there just pull back through just to make sure that you're not getting any loose threads so again you want to insert your hook yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through both loops on the hook and we'll do that three more times to make six in total So notice how I was turning that as I was going in order to make it into a circle. Now we're going to do our next row now. So this is our first round. So what we're going to do now is actually attach this to our first um, double crochet, which is single crochet in the US. And the way you want to do this is just insert your hook into that first stitch. And you're going to yarn over and pull through. So you have two loops on the hook and yarn over and pull through those two. So that's a double crochet in this first stitch. So our first round is six double crochets. This round is actually going to be 12 double crochets. So we've just done our first one here. And now we're going to do another one in that very same space. And basically what we're going to do is do two double crochets, remember that single in the US, in each of your first six spaces from your first row. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. six, number two in each one, seven, eight, nine, ten, and our last two, eleven, twelve. So we now have 12 stitches in that last round. What we're then going to do now is our next round will consist of 18 stitches. So we're going to do one double crochet in this first space and then two in the next and repeat that until you get to 18. So I'll just show you the first few and then you can pause the video and meet me back. So it's one, Two, 
two, three. Just make sure you're not catching any loops. And then it's another one for four, and then two in the next one, five, and six. So you just want to repeat that all the way round until you get to 18 stitches and I shall meet you back there at the end. So I'm at the end of this row now with 18 stitches and then this next round is going to consist of 24 stitches. So all you want to do is double crochet in the first space, so one, another double crochet in the next space. So that's two, and then two double crochets in the next space. So that's three and four. So we'll just repeat that again. So one in the next one, and that'll be five. One in the next one, and six, and then two in the next one seven and eight. So again you just want to repeat that all the way round until you reach 24. So here I am with my 24 stitches. The next rows are pretty simple, they're just going to be one double crochet into each space and we're going to do that between rows five and eight. So that's four rows that we're going to do consisting of 24 stitches. So I'm going to pause the video and do my 24 stitches. I'm then going to play the video so that I can count you through each step if you wish, just to make it easier for you to stay on track with how many rounds you've done. So if you want to pause the video now and we'll work our fifth row and I'll meet you back at our sixth row just to keep you on track. So I've now just completed my fifth row and you will notice that your um, work will start to be going more cup shaped. So now again you want to pause the video and complete your sixth row. This consists again of 24 stitches. I'm now at the end of my sixth row and I'm about to start my seventh. It's worth noting that the way that I tend to hold this when I am doing um, something that's rounded like this is I just pinch the work with my finger and thumb and I work round in this way so I would just insert my hook into the stitch and then work round like so. So if you want to pause the video so that you can complete your seventh row of 24 stitches. I'm now at the end of my seventh row, so if you want to pause the video again and get ready to do your eighth row of 24 stitches. This is the last row now before we start to decrease, so do your eighth row of 24 stitches. So now that you've done your eighth row, we're now going to start to decrease this. So we're now going to do the next row consisting of 18 stitches. Now what you want to do is you want to do two double crochets, remember that's single in the US into the next two individual stitches, so one into the next two, so that's the first one and the second one, so that classes our, as our first two stitches of our ninth row. We now want to decrease the stitches, so the way that you do this is you insert the hook into your next space, yarn over and pull through, so we're not going to complete this stitch altogether. You're then going to put your hook into the next space, yarn over and pull through and you'll have three loops on the hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all through loops on the hook and that is um, double crocheting those two stitches together and that is classed as one stitch so that is our third stitch of this round so we have one, two and three. You're then going to do a double crochet into the next space for four and then into the next space five and double crochet the next two together. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert to the next space, yarn over, pull through and pull through 
all three. So that will be our sixth stitch. So you want to do that all the way around, so pause the video and work the way around till you've counted 18 stitches. Remember these um, two double crochets together is counted as one. So pause the video and I shall meet you back. I've now done my 18 stitches and we only have one more row left to go and this is simply going to be one double crochet into each double crochet space all the way round to make 18 stitches so I shall meet you back at the end of that round. So I've just done my 18 stitches now all that's left to do is yarn over and pull through and you want to cut off your yarn leaving enough space or enough of a thread to sew into your work. And that makes our little egg cup hat. Now, if you want to leave it like this, you can do, and it's like a little beanie. Or you can add some bunny ears, which I'm going to show you how to do now. To make your bunny ears, it's fairly simple, but a little bit fiddly. So do take your time. You want to start off with your slip knot. And then you want to chain two again. So one, two. Don't make these chains too tight. You're then going to do three double crochets in this first space. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's one. Turn your work round and do another double crochet. So that's two. And turn your work round again and do your third one. We're then going to do two double crochets into each of those spaces. So you want to find your first stitch, which is just round here. So that's why I was telling you to turn your work. So if you actually turn your work up this way, you can see your three stitches there better. So you want to insert your hook into that first stitch there and it will look like a V. And I like to pull out all the work out of the way here just to make it easier to see. And then you want to yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. And again, do another double in that same space. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. You then want to insert your hook into the next um, space so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and another double in that very same space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and then into the th third space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two Insert into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you'll see that it's starting to curl upwards, so it's like a little bucket, teeny tiny bucket. <laughs> so then that row consisted of six. You then want to do um, a row consisting of nine. So you want to insert your hook into the first space which is just here. So it look, you can tell that it's your first space because it looks like a little V when you insert your hook. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then turn it round, you'll see your next space. We're going to do two in here. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Twist your work round, and then we're just going to do one double crochet in here. So that's our fourth stitch of the round. Two in the next one. So that's five and six, one in the next one, which is our seventh stitch, and then two in the last one, which is 
our eighth and our ninth stitch. So this will be starting to curl up now. What I suggest that you do is just push your finger in the middle so that it starts to curl up around your finger. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with. And we're now going to do rows 4 to 10 with 9 double crochets each. So this can take a while because it can be a little bit fiddly. But like I did with the, um, the main, the little beanie of the hat, I will pause and then play again between each stage so that you don't get lost of which round that you're on. So all you want to be doing is inserting your hook into the space and doing one double crochet into each space nine times. So when you've done that nine times that means that you've done one row. So I've just done my first three there. You want to make sure that you've done nine, pause the video and play again once you've done that nine. This is our fourth round. So that's what my fourth round's looking like. I'm now going to do the fifth round. So pause the video and do nine double crochet. This is now the end of my fifth row. So you now want to pause the video and do your sixth row, which is nine double crochet. This is the end of my sixth row. If you want to go ahead and do your seventh row. That's the end of your seventh row. If you now want to do the same for your eighth row, it's the end of your eighth row. So if you want to go ahead and do your ninth row, and then if you want to go ahead and do your very last row, which is another round of nine, and I'll meet you back to tie off. So once you have done your last row, you want to yarn over and pull through. You want to leave a good few inches of thread so that you can sew this onto your main piece. So cut off, pull out. You will have a bit that sticks up slightly, that's absolutely fine. Uh, once it's sewn together, you won't see that. So that makes one of your bunny ears, which we will be sewing on top of here. I'm just going to quickly make the other one and then show you how to sew them onto your work. Okay, so in order to sew on your bunny ears, you want to take a darning needle and press the ears together and I just like to connect each side by just putting a few stitches through the ears themselves. Then you want to take your little beanie section, fold that in half and then just simply attach your ears wherever you like them to be to your hat. So just going through the back of the ears and into the, the actual beanie itself and then just doing that all the way along. So once you've attached your ear you can actually put the needle into the work and tie off from the inside of the little hat. So you can just tie through and then tie a knot and then snip off because this is going to be in the middle of the hat. So do the, exactly the same thing to the other side. So then all that's left to do is find your egg and place your hat on top and you can draw a face if you wish to. I've actually done this one on here. This one's just a little beanie. I actually find this one really funny. I really quite like this one. Um, but you can do whatever you want to do in whichever colours. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you tag me on Twitter and Instagram using at Bellacoco or at Bellacoco Crochet. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos and I shall see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.